we have Grammy nominated, Emmy winning performer, singer, director, and choreographer. Welcome back, Tony Basil. <laughs> now, Tony, I hear you are about to receive a very special award. Tell me when and what and where. Well, yes, I'm, I'm extremely humbled uh, to be receiving uh, the living legend of Hip Hop Award. Congratulations. <laughs> No, to, be, to be included in the same category with Boogaloo Sam, who created the Electric Boogaloo, yeah. uh, MC Hammer, and of course, most importantly for me, my dear friend and partner in crime, Don Campbellock Campbell, who created the Campbell Lock and let me into his life so that together we were able to, with the rest of the lockers, form a group that we felt needed to show the importance of American street dance for street dancers to be considered in the same category as all the other dance disciplines. And as I look back now, because it was in the 70s, I feel as though, because hip hop and locking is even mentioned on this stage, uh, I feel as though we've accomplished that. And I'm, I'm so proud of it. Absolutely. Tony, do you think they're gonna be needing that, that other chance? You know, Hip hop is a series of steps that the choreographer draws from many millenniums of dance styles, but mostly street. And street has to have a groove and a funk. And if you're gangsters and you don't have a ghetto groove, it's just going to feel store bought. And just as a unit, you really didn't work really precisely together and if you're doing street you got to have the funk you got to have the hard hit and you got to be connected Tony Tony <laughs> yeah I think the two of you have the potential to really develop into an extremely extremely powerful couple looking at the two of you right now watching that video clip of you caressing her when she was crying and watching you after the number was done, carrying her in this really macho, sexy way. So, here is a word of warning. Don't let your technique get in the way of your emotions. Bring your, your technique is just, you know, you're supposed to have that. That's why you're on this show. Let your emotions now take you to this next level. You guys have got an electricity going on between you. If you just really brave it up and make it happen and make that next jump, I think your guys can be a force to reckon with. Tony, I must say, that it was, um, <laughs> was really beautifully, beautifully done, and, and the sensuality was gorgeous. Your ballet training really worked mm -hmm. for this dance. And since you've said everything about them, I'm going to say something about Tony. And I, I'm a fan of Tony and Melanie. When they used to compete, I have seen them compete live. And uh, you were hot because they were hot. Yeah. Yes, Tony. Well, she might not feel yeah. the same way. <laughs> I think that the juxtaposition of the rock and the hip hop that Dave laid on you guys was really um, strategic on his part and good for, for you. Because, you know, once again, I keep repeating myself, you know, street is a really, really tough thing to do. You, you know, if you don't have the groove, it's like, if you don't point your toes in ballet when you're doing ballet, it's not ballet. To nail it like you guys did and to, to have the connection, I, I just think was... I've was got to ask, Tony, did you ever have a pair of those tights when you danced? <laughs> you know, when I, was, when I was dancing, they didn't even have those tights. I had to cut holes in them myself to make it look like that. Tony, did you like the routine? Well, I, yes, I actually really liked it. But I want to say something that you brought up. No shoes in a, in a waltz. Jean-Marc, you are pushing the envelope with no shoes in a waltz. But I, I, I did. I did love it. Miss, 
You are something else. You, you do not let your technique get in the way of your reality on stage. You are always in the moment. You are always alive. You're really an extraordinary dancer. And you, for, is this, isn't this the first time you've been partnered new together? I mean, this is a new partnership. And the way you partnered her and lifted her and moved her around, I thought was really commendable. And I actually really, really loved this dance. I loved it. Tony? Well, if I was a dancer on this show, I would go, please let me be pulling Mia Michael's name out of that box. Please let me. The only danger, the only danger with doing Mia's choreography is that the choreography can become the star. You've got to live up to it, and you guys lived up, up to it. To it. I remember last year, I was so impressed when she did a piece with Twitch, and she just took what Twitch did and moved it into that contemporary place, and she was watching, you know, your personality over the last two shows and your little jazz technique, and she started making some alchemy, and I'm going to put this together and that together. And she is the choreographer's choreographer. Uh, she is phenomenal, and you guys were phenomenal. Tony, did you enjoy the performance from Jason and Caitlin? Yes. You know what I liked about it? Even though it's not their style, and the upper body didn't always work, and that the, the style wasn't always happening, it didn't get in the way of your performance. You kept going through it. You know, even if you were struggling a little bit, you still performed it. You still lived with the music. It didn't get in your way. And that, that's really important. Really, really, really important. You're going to look back at the tape and say, oh, why didn't I look at her when I dipped her? But still, uh, still, you know, I, I just thought it was, I thought it was powerful and really good. I thought that both of you did a great job at, at a dance that isn't your dance. Oh, you. Tony, did you enjoy the performance? I, I thought it was adorable, but I'm not so sure adorable is a great, great word. You know, you want it to be like what Nigel said, Donald O'Connor and Gene Kelly and, you know, that extra level because that can soar. And, you know, as a couple, I think you did pretty well. I think you did better as a couple this week than last week. Absolutely. So, uh, <laughs> yes, you know, you're, you, you keep moving up there. You know it's the luck of the draw. It's the luck of the draw of the couple, of the choreography, of the, the, the choreographer, and the music, you know? Um, you just can't let those feathers upstage you. That's all I can say. <laughs>